So, what I've unloaded from the car is material for the beehive. The beehive will be uh, quite simple to build. This is a drawing of the beehive. I will go a bit closer so you can see. So, what I need to do is build a baseboard with a hole for the bees to come in. That's with the long, the long thin tanks there. And then I'll need boxes above, like this, for this bottom box, bot, uh, top boxes. And you see two layers here, bottom board and roof board. That's going to be those things there, those two layers there. Inside, there are supposed to be wires. Wires like these to hold the uh, the honeycombs in. So eventually it'll look something like this. That's the plan. And I got this from a website. Uh, let me see what this website is. Uh, JapanNaturalBeekeeping.org And uh, I'm going to put a link to that. If you ever want to make, make a beehive like this, you can. So quite simple, I have these two uh, base cement uh, boards and I have to build this. As you can see, it's kind of blackish because uh, you have to burn it in. Uh, you have to burn the sites to protect the wood from the rain. The carbonization will, the oils will come out protecting the, the wood. And what I'm going to do is use this. So that's all I have, uh, all the tools I have. Uh, wood, which is quite thick. Planks, this, screws, uh, these are uh, screws that will not break wood easily. It's, good. it's designed to uh, not chip off wood. And so far, that's what I have. I need the circular saw because this is really quite thick and sawing this by hand does take quite a lot of time. Uh, and you can't make it super straight. So I want to make it nice and the, the saw is coming tomorrow. I couldn't resist trying this out. It's kind, kind of cool. Uh, so I need to close this, switch this on. Enough for now. This is just to try out and you can see the resin coming out. This protects the wood. And I'll be doing this for the entire box once the entire thing is done. Uh, for now, I'll leave this it's just to try out if uh, this works, and it does. Quite cool. Mm. So now I have everything I need for the beehive. Uh, I'm going to open this up. My first time using a circular saw. So I'll take some time to re read this first before I start. And ta-da! So before I can do anything, I need to make measurements. 
I think I'll try to attempt the uh, the top layers first. This looks easier. So I need to measure out 200, 255 uh, for each side. I was going to uh, use this on this under the house, uh, under the angle near the Engawa. Then I realized that I now live in a straw house, so one should not use fire like this near a straw house. So I have proceeded uh, here on an open, far from the house, with a big bucket of water just in case. I'm going to try this. And now I have a beehive, a pile for a beehive, just one section. Uh, there needs to be one more and a baseboard. But this is step number one. Just wanted to see how, how it looked like. And it's quite pretty, quite nice. Happy with this.
All right, so this is my version one of the beehive. Um, the bees are going to make their hive from inside. They will start making it from the bottom and they'll slowly dangle down. And then, and then after one or two months, I have to add in uh, another box. Uh, one, two, two or three weeks, sorry. After two or three weeks, I have to add one more box. So I have to make some more boxes. Um, the next step for this is I have to build a roof. So I'm going to make a roof so that bees don't get wet. And I am also going to line the inside with uh, wax, the bees wax and a bit of honey. Uh, oh, it smells nice in here actually. Uh, because I've used hinoki on top. Hinoki is the Japanese uh, cypress that smells really nice. And uh, this is sugi which is Japanese uh, cedar. So. The bees have a very premium home, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this first first beehive. <laughs>